Hey everyone, it's Soundwave 84 here in the Transformers Studio Series Review. And this we're going to take a look at concept art Decepticon Rumble from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. I guess his concept would have been probably in the scenes with Soundwave, of course, on Cybertron. Pretty much the best parts of the Bumblebee movie. Uh, we didn't get this uh, character in the movie. That's why he's labeled as concept art. And we also got that with Megatron and the upcoming Deluxe Class Sunstreaker coming out. Here's a quick look at his box art. He has a little Cybertron battle scene inside, but that's all you get for the background. Uh, Rumble is uh, plastic tied into that side here. Head sculpt, you know, shot on Rumble. Hey, looks like a little mini Bruticus, people say, because he's gun stored in the back. And since they're a little bit closer, not as far apart, it looks a little more Bruticus-esque. Hard to say. 11 steps get you all the way around. He pretty much just folds in half into a little box that you shove in Stanley's chest here. More of the artwork. I do like how they have it, whereas the concept like is still being worked on in the computers, and it's not fully rendered. All right, now taking a look at the little Rumble figure. He is little tiny, kind of about the size of the original Siege Rumble and Frenzy. And yes, he is blue. So in the Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie, Rumble would have been blue. So Rumble is blue. Frenzy would have been red. Closer look at the figure. You can see like he maybe he wants to have a mouth. I think it's just a little extra paint. Makes it look like he has a bit of a mouth on my copy. Nice little head sculpt. It is rumble-like. I'll bring in the Studio Series Rumble from the 86 movie. And they got the three little horns up top. The eye band for the visor and everything. Just this one doesn't have a mouth. You do get the pile drivers here. He has no hands. He just has his lucky trusty pile drivers. You get these two weapons here. So I, I can't figure out a way to make his guns. You know, he can't hold his gun. So they just store on his back. Really, they're pointless here because you can't stick them in his arms. And I find that to be maybe one of the downsides. He does have these little slight taps. I wonder if you can tap. Maybe I'll tap this one in. Hold on. He's got these little slots here. And he does have his tab here. Now, yep, see that little... Uh, Hinge here is just in the way, so again, this doesn't store, doesn't have in his arms. They just store it on his back, right back here. Closer look at the figure, you can see he's got a little bit of yellow paint on the feet, a little bit of red paint up here at the knees, yellow paint on the crotchetals. He's got red paint right here at the top, and like some silver markings here underneath it on his boobies. A uh, light blue paint here that matches the light blue up here on top of his pile drivers. And he's got gray plastic here, blue, you know, the silver head, gray head. Turn to the back side. Yellow, yellow paint on the little, uh, his biceps here. Articulation on the figure. You got your shoulders on the hinge, on a swivel. There's no waist swivel. Head, you can 360 around. Uh, slide up, no down. It's hollow on the back side, like a hollow little circle. Uh, hips, you can go out. You can get a full split out of him. Kick forward, kick back. Good knee bends. And his feet, you get a little toe rock here, but that's for transformation. And his feet are the biggest complaint I have on this figure, besides the fact that he has no hands and can't hold his weapons. Because uh, they're just easy to just knock up. And so it's just a pain in the butt because you're constantly having to put his feet back down. Comparison here is Studio Series 86 Rumble. As you see, that Rumble is more purple and a light blue, like a powder blue, uh, to more mimic the cartoon in the 86 movie. Whereas this blue is going more with the toy colors for Frenzy when he's more of a darker blue. So that's what you're getting out of this. And also, this Rumble here is slightly taller than this Rumble. And you have pile drivers that go on them. He makes up more, I would say, for the $10 price point than this little guy does. Then you're going to get more bang for your buck out of this rumble than you would this rumble. But of course, this one will not fit in your Studio Series Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie, whereas this one will. And that's the whole point of that. Playability. So we'll take this rumble out. Now we're going to transform this rumble into his cube. And all you want to do first is remove his weapons from the backside. Going to take them right here at this hinge. Pull these up. Then take this hinge here, fold them down. These little tabs here will go in the little slots on his arms, and they sort of lock in. Again, now you want to rotate his arms this way. He does have Decepticon logos here on the ends of his pile drivers. We're going to bring him up at the shoulder, right next to his head. Fold his feet up. Turn him over. 
bring his leg out. Now you're going to take his weapons. You can see there's a peg and a tab. One gun here has peg holes. We'll peg that one in. The other gun has the slots. That's going to go on the tab. Other leg has the same. So now you're just going to close them back up. And this is going to tap together and peg together like that. And now you're just going to fold them in half. Just pretend you're Jason Voorhees and you're breaking them like the sheriff in part six. Just bring this all the way up. You can see the little groove here on the legs, the little slight tabs. They're just going to kind of catch right around his arms up here. So I'm going to bring that up. Make them into a cube. There we go. And you have transformed Rumble, concept art Rumble, into his tape mode, his alt mode. Bring in Soundwave. Eject Soundwave's button. I'm going to take Rumble. And we're just going to squeeze him in here. Like so, close that up. I'll see if I get him all the way in. Like that. And there you go. You now have Rumble inside of Studio Series Bumblebee Soundwave. So that's cool. I, I don't. I didn't really care for this Rumble that much. I actually, you know, have I've had chances to get him. I just delayed getting this figure, and I finally he's just on a peg and target. And I thought, why not get him? Because Soundwave's my favorite character. I need his minions. Got Rumble. I'm guessing maybe eventually we'll get a concept art frenzy because you know Hasbro can't resist a repaint. So my final thoughts on this figure: If you got this Soundwave, you need to get his minions. This is an easy pickup. If you don't really click through the series, it's an easy pass. And it's not the greatest rumble either. I prefer this one here. But the one here is better than the previous Siege versions, in my opinion. All right, thanks for watching this quick review on Little Concept Art Studio Series Rumble from the Bumblebee movie. Till the next ones. Peace out.